Plowshare works with the innovation coming out of DSTL to create spin-out companies and license deals such that the technology is not just available for the defence environment, but also something that can be enjoyed right across our society. The sepsis story is a remarkable one. It's born of over 10 years worth of investment and time in DSTL and over 16 million pounds of investment. It now gives us a biobank that enables us to predict up to three days prior to someone displaying symptoms that they are likely to have a sepsis reaction. Of course, we understood that this was life-changing across the world, and that's why Plowshare created a spin-out company called Presymptom. However, in the last few months, we've also identified that it has real relevance in the COVID-19 context, because we now know that people who get very sick from COVID are typically having a sepsis reaction. It's with that knowledge that we accelerated significantly our work around sepsis and specifically identified a development path for COVID-19. And because Plowshare saw that that could have a real impact really quickly on people's lives, we decided in quite exceptional circumstances to invest £200,000 of our own money to ensure that this gets to patients quickly. We believe that the technology has enormous potential to help both COVID patients at this time of national crisis, but also uh, sepsis patients generally. And in fact, there are nearly 2 million suspicion of sepsis admissions annually to the NHS. And we, uh, we think there's an important role that the technology could play for this group of patients. It's, it's taken us 10 years. Uh, we've uh, taken samples from over 4,000 patients. We've partnered with over 150 clinicians and research scientists. And we uh, have over 72,000 samples sitting in freezers and, and we've been analyzing those, some of those samples. So it's, it's been a real journey to, to get to this point. We think that um, we've developed a tool that will help the clinical community manage sepsis much better uh, and will hopefully save lives uh, and improve patient outcomes and that's that's the thing that really drives us and moves us forwards um, in our in our day-to-day -day job. The, the team has a very ambitious plan uh, at, at this time of crisis and we're, our, our intention is to build a solution that we can deploy during the second wave of COVID if there is a second wave and that's the timetable we're working to. That will require uh, strong execution by all involved, but there's a high level of motivation and drive across the team uh, to deliver this solution on that schedule.